Mm-hmm. Parshas Bahar. This is a shear adapted from the shurim of Moran Hagoin, Reb Chaim Shmulevich, Sechet Tzadik Levracha. It says in the Pasik, Perek Chof Hei Mem Gimel in Bahar, it says, Lo Yisirde Boi Beforech. Do not, um, do, do not work your slave, your Ebed Ivri, Beforech with hard, hard labor. That's the simple. Chazal interpret beforech not to mean with hard labor, but do not work your every with unnecessary labor. And Rashi explains that um, Rashi explains that uh, and proves that um, it doesn't mean hard labor, but it means unnecessary labor without going getting involved in that. And Rashi gives an example. Al timer loy hochem lies a kois azeh, for who ain't sorich. Don't ask your eved, your eved ivri, warm me up this kos, warm me up this glass, glass of tea, glass of coffee. And vuhu ain't sorich, and he doesn't need it. And he's only doing it. Rashi says, "Kedei la noisai," in order to afflict him, in order to make him work. So don't do that. Um, and if you, if one does that, if one. If one um, does that, and he asks his uh, his evidivery to um, to warm up a kais for him, and he doesn't even need it, be a reisa me'alekecha. You should be, you should fear a kodesh who knows what's going on in your heart. And the question is, this is an isa diaraisa. It's not only an Iser the Araisa to be Mzalzal the Kovid Odom to to cheapen a person's honor. But the question is here the Evet doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going on in the heart of his Odon, of his master. The master says, Warm me up, this coast and Simply, the Ebed thinks he needs, the Ebed thinks that the Master needs the coast. He doesn't know that the Master is cheapening his honor, and he never will know. And the only one that does know this is the Odon, the Master himself. So how could the Torah say that, that, this Odon is cheapening the honor of his slave if the slave is unaware that he's being cheapened doesn't 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 know that the Odon doesn't know what the intention of the Odon is but we see here a, a tremendously new Chiddush a new rev, rev, revelation and this is Chazal. What Rashi is bringing out is Chazal itself. Chazal is saying, creating to us a new, a new dimension in Bein Odom a new that not only if one hurts the the other one, 
is there Beinodom Lachaverei, which is an Isidi Araisa, but even if the Eved does not feel that he's being taken advantage of, he does not realize that the Master is cheapening his his kavod. There's nevertheless an isa diraisa pasuk leisirde by beforech, which means, uh, which means uh, according to Chazal, and they prove it that it has to mean that. Uh, it, surely it's surely there's an isa diraisa if you actually hurt somebody, but if you don't hurt somebody, even if you don't hurt somebody. But the master, in his thoughts, wants to hurt this 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 Jew, this Sevedivri. There's also an Isa de Raisa. How much we have to be nizher, be careful in Benorom Chaverai. We see here new dimensions that Chazal have created and have taught us new dimensions in Be'nei Nol Chaverei. We should realize how we should try to work on our Midos Tovos. And we should be so careful in Be'nei Nol Chaverei. Here, the Master is 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 hurting the Eved, and the Eved doesn't even know he's being hurt. And nevertheless, it's an Isa de Araisa. How much we should work on our Midos to try to Improve them and be careful in Benel Machaveri. We should be zeichet to this. Amen. V'yamen.